What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Pac-12 football channel. Arizona State had one of the tougher schedules in the Pac-12 in 2019. In the non-conference, they went out and played Michigan State and played them on the road last year. Uh, they actually went 2-0 two, two against Michigan State the last two years, when even though they, were, I think, were underdogs in both of those games. They also played Oregon out of the Pac-12 North, so you had a tough matchup there. So all in all, the schedule uh, was pretty tough for Arizona State. They played a lot of close games, and uh, you know if they had had an easier schedule, maybe they would have had a little bit better season, but still a pretty solid year. Uh, Herm Edwards has done an excellent job, in my opinion, in his two years there at Arizona State. Let's take a look at the 2020 schedule and see if it is going to set them up for success. It's an easier non-conference schedule, that's for sure. They play Northern Arizona on September the 3rd. That will be a home game, a Thursday night game to kick off the season. And then after that, they'll play September 12th at UNLV. And then... They play their other non-conference game on September 19th against BYU. So they will play their three non-conference games right at the beginning of the season. And they get uh, BYU, a, a formidable opponent there in the non-conference, not really playing a powerhouse team, not a power five team. BYU probably won't be a top 25 team. So again, that's on paper, it's, it's an easier schedule. But then again, Michigan State wasn't very good last year. So <laughs> who knows? Uh, and they will play Oregon again this year out of the north. So th that's the non-conference schedule. They close out the month of September on the road at USC. Could be a game that you look back to and say that, oh, that game decided the Pac-12 South. I think that is a huge game. Uh, Arizona State might be, in my opinion, the number two team in that division right now. I think USC is the early favorite. Uh, but it's wide open. Anyone could win it. And, again, you go back at the end of the season, you could say, well, that USC win or that USC loss, uh, that really either put Arizona State in or out of the Pac-12 championship, championship game, potentially. And there's a lot of football to be played, obviously. But that could be a really big game. So we go into the month of October. They will play Oregon State on October the 3rd. And that's a home game. And then a home game against UCLA October 10th. Follow that up with a road game at Colorado on October 24th. They'll play on Halloween, October 31st, on the road at Washington State. Uh, so, you know, a pretty easy stretch for the month of October. Actually, a, a, a really easy month of October. One of the easiest probably in college football, at least for Power 5 teams. Uh, UCLA might be the toughest game there. Washington State could be pretty good again this year, but you have to wonder what they'll look like without Mike Leach. Uh, so, again, if they can get through USC, we could be talking about a team that is 8-0 heading into the month of November, and they would be probably ranked pretty high if that was the case. But it'll be tough to get through those games without tripping up. Uh, we move on to November. They'll play Cal on November 7th. I think this Cal team is going to be pretty good this year. But they get them at home. A uh, tough game, though, on November 13th on the road at Oregon. You know Oregon is going to be out for revenge. This is a Friday night game. Again, they will be fired up for this one, so that is going to be a really tough matchup for Arizona State. And then they'll play Utah on November 21st. That is a home game. So I think their toughest stretch of the season really is from Cal to Utah. Those three games, well, two of them are at home. So this is a really nice schedule for Arizona State. I think it sets up in a way that they might have a shot to win the Pac-12 South. Last year, Utah's schedule, I thought, really gave them a good shot, and I picked Utah to win the South in the preseason. A lot of other people did as well. Uh, not just because I thought they were going to be the best team, which I did think they were going to be the best team, but I also just saw the schedule and how it set up for them uh, in a way that they had a really good chance. Arizona State could be that team, could be that pick in, in 2020. They will close out the season on the road, though, on November 28th at Arizona. So in the, in the Pac-12, you're going to play nine conference games, which means you have four home and five away, or four away and five home. And again, this is the schedule you want. Oh, actually, no, they play five road games. They have five road games, uh, USC, Colorado, Washington State, Oregon, and Utah. Four home games, Oregon State, UCLA, Cal, and Utah. So, I mean, when you look at the schedule and say it's not that bad, a big part of it's probably just because we don't expect the Pac-12 to be great. Uh, the bad news is they play Oregon out of the north, probably the best team in the Pac-12. Not only do they play them, they play them on the road on a Friday night. So that's going to be a really tough matchup there. But the non-conference is not that bad. And again, if they can get through USC on September 26th, we could be talking about a team that is undefeated heading into the month of November. Uh, that would be something to see there for Arizona State. But then again, the schedule gets a little bit tougher once you get into the month of November. So what do you guys think about this Arizona State schedule? Uh, it's 
not too bad, not too bad, and it might just give them a shot to win the Pac-12 South.